What's going on guys, my name is Connor and today I have a review for you guys on the classic Louis Vuitton Josh backpack in the Damien Graphite canvas. So I'm going to be breaking down all the details of this bag as well as going over if it's a good purchase or not. So if you guys do enjoy these kind of videos, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button as it really, really does help out my channel and get my videos shown to more people. And while you're at it, make sure you claim your four free stocks on Weeble by clicking the link below. All you got to do is sign up, you get two stocks for free, you get another two after your first deposit. So without further ado, let's get right into this review. Alright guys, so just before I begin unzipping this bag, trying it on and everything else, I want to go over a few details of this bag. First off being the pricing. This bag actually retailed at $1,700 when it was still being released. Now they have the NV model of this bag. This one retailed at $1,700, the newer one retails at $1,980, and the last sale on StockX, which was pretty recent, it was about a month ago, for this exact bag, the, old, the older model, which this one is, it sold for $2,000. So that just goes to show that people are still in love with this classic bag, and it is still holding its value very, very well. So now taking a closer look at the bag, you guys will be able to tell that it does have a cowhide leather trim. As you guys can see, you guys will see it all around the bag. And also all the hardware is going to be silver toned, as you guys can tell by this zipper right here, which if you look closely, it'll say Louis Vuitton on it, as well as this one. And also the hardware on the strap. So taking a quick look at the straps, as, as I lift it up with the handle right here, turn this bag around for you guys you guys will be able to see the dual padded shoulder straps as you guys can see that's what they call these right here because they are padded and obviously there's two of them and they call it dual because they are linked together at the top right here with this silver hardware as well and this handle that I just mentioned to you guys is considered a trimmed top handle. If you guys look closely, it's a little bit more flat than most of them. So that's why they call it trimmed. And also there are going to be a few pockets on this bag, which I'm sure you guys are aware of. The first one that I'm going to show you guys is on the exterior. Obviously, there's going to be two on the exterior, one right here, one right here. And the first one right here, you're just going to be able to unzip it. And then in here, we have a little bit of room. I actually stuff most of this bag with in here. I believe I have some uh, newspapers and in here I have some bubble wrap and that is just to keep the shape. I will go over a couple product care tips at towards the end of this video, but in here I have a little bit of bubble wrap, but just to show you guys the spaciousness of it, I'll take it out for you guys. You guys will be able to see in here, if I can get in the light, you guys will have a decent amount of room and here you have just enough room to maybe carry a wallet, some cash, keys, chapstick, phone, etc. So you're not going to be carrying anything huge here I don't it would definitely be a challenge to even fit a t-shirt in there but that is definitely for your smaller accessories which I'm sure you guys understand and then right here you guys will also have the Louis Vuitton in the zip right here and I also forgot to mention just before I open the big pocket there is a heat stamp right here Louis Vuitton Paris right there and now unzipping the big pocket which I'll do right now I'll unzip super easily you guys will be able to see the inside right here. So like I said, I have some stuffing right here, which I'll take out for you guys. And you guys will have the main heat stamp right here, Louis Vuitton Paris made in France. If you guys are able to see that, which you guys should be able to as I'm putting in the light right here. You guys will have a pocket right here, which is good for a laptop, iPad, or whatever else because even though it looks like there's two big pockets right here, there's not because this one is disconnected. These are considered dual medium compartments and this is considered a single wall pocket right here. So the wall pockets are always good for laptops like I mentioned, iPads and big items like that. Sometimes I'll put my portfolio in there or big folders that I have because it'll keep it standing up and it will keep it from getting creased and everything. But yeah, you guys definitely have room for your laptop, electronics. And then here you have room for maybe business cards or smaller items. I usually keep like water bottles or whatever else in here as there's just enough room for those. It's not going to be huge. It is literally half the size of the wall compartment. So just imagine a laptop, half the size of that. And that's about what this is right here. And then obviously you have all this room in here for anything else that you might want to carry. So if you guys wanted to carry laptops, water bottles, a bunch of clothes right here, maybe about three outfits or so. If you're a guy, maybe one or two if you're a girl because you're probably gonna pack a lot more than guys usually do. And then in here you have room for your keys and other little accessories. So this really is an all around bag for whatever you might need. It's perfect for travel, perfect for daily wear, and perfect for even going to work with it. So this is how it looks on from the front. Obviously you guys can see the straps right here. They're not gonna be monogrammed like some of the newer collections that are out right now but it's subtle, it looks nice, and obviously even just turning a little bit to the side, you guys will easily be able to notice the 
Damier Gray flat canvas. And then on the back side, you can see the bag itself, which is obviously very, very good looking. It's definitely a classic piece. And I lightly talked about it towards the beginning, but just a little bit of a backstory of this bag. This canvas itself, the Damier Gray flat canvas began being released in 1888. So I believe other than the monogram, this is the most classic canvas that is out there. And it was relaunched in 1996 with bags and accessories, but this specific bag began releasing in 2008. And I cannot completely tell you when they stopped producing this and began coming out with the new one. Sometimes when they have newer ones, they continue to push out some of the older ones next to the new ones, which obviously the new ones tend to be higher priced. But I believe that they stopped being released in about 2016, 2017-ish. I definitely know that when Virgil Abloh began designing for them that they stopped putting out this bag. But the new one's not that bad looking. I'll make sure to throw up a picture on the screen. Um, and if you guys were to go for this one or the newer one, I think you guys will be happy either way because they're extremely similar. The canvas is going to be a little bit different. The quality and zippers might be a little bit better on the newer ones. But a lot of people, like I mentioned towards the beginning, the most recent sale on StockX was $2,000 for this bag just like a month ago. So that just goes to show that this is a classic backpack. And no matter what you go for, if you go for this one or the newer one, you guys will definitely be happy with it. But I just want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know any questions that you guys have about this bag. I know it was a pretty quick video, but there's not too much to say about this bag. You guys kind of know what it is if you guys are watching this video. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know what else you guys want to see on my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video.